intro before I go back in time and open this box for the first time with you guys I chose the Pelican vault over a lot of good boxes out there so let's get into the video let me show you I actually have not opened this one yet and this is the vault tactical rifle B for vault 730 it's got many different reinforced locked areas and I like how the latches are really strong and they stay open once you, like they won't open unless you push this tab here. And then they open and they stay open. So um, if I'm going to reach for something, I don't have to go back and, oh man, this one locked again. And now I got to lift it up and just fumble with all these locks. So because of that, they're able to put more latches on here to secure it. See, I don't have to go back and unlatch anything they all stayed correctly unlocked and this is how it opens and comes you can see it's got this gasket here right there it makes it uh dust proof waterproof all four of these hasps for locking the uh pelican case they're all made out of stainless steel well, this is a pretty good chunk of plastic. Uh, I can still move it, um, but uh, it's definitely better than some of the Plano cases I was looking at. I think there was some Harbor Freight had some cases. I, I can't recall the names. Um, I was looking at the Rome box, but this one uh, seemed to fit the bill, uh, fit the price. And I like the uh, lower profile that this one had compared to the Rome because I'm going to be mounting it on top of my truck like that one. Um, I didn't mount that one yet. That will come in a video soon. I'll be doing that today or tomorrow. This is called a push button latch because you push the button. Um, and because they have that, there's no accidental unlatching of anything too. Because the last thing you want is to have a latch come undone and making all kinds of noise while you're driving and freaking everyone in the car out. Uh, again, this whole thing is weather resistance. These Pelican cases have stood test of time and all kinds of weather this one does have wheels on one side and it is very useful using that especially if this thing uh, does get loaded and used for other things uh, a buddy of mine has one of these and he uses it for his obviously his guns but he uses it for other camping trips like we're about to do um, and these wheels sit on top and get just nailed by the weather and they've been they've been holding up and even with holes drilled through the bottom of the case so it can mount on the roof, it's uh, still very strong, no cracks when it's uh, under a lot of load. Crush proof, uh, high impact polymer that it's made out of. Got these heavy duty handles. Oh my goodness. I mean, these things are solid. And when you look at the contact point in between, you can see it's pretty girthy. It's not one of those little little pins that the cheaper ones have it's a thicker one right there this is a vented hole so if it gets too hot inside of the case it actually ventilates the air uh, so that the pressure doesn't build up in there and um, compromise the seals but the latches are what i call high clearance um, sometimes like the rome cases the latch you have to mount the boxes a little bit further back from the rail so that you have enough space to open up the latches, which are all the way down near the bottom of the box. And I'm not trying to give up precious space. So I got this here to show you the dimensions of this one. There you go. And I like that uh, with the double cab Tacoma, uh, third gen, I could actually go a little bit longer if I wanted um, and gone with the 770 and possibly even the 800, but I'm gonna have lights mounted here and I wanted the option adding lighting here 
um, and I'll add the seam pods later. Go ahead and install this on top. Uh, I'll make a video on it if you want to see it, check it out. I'll show you how I do it. It's pretty easy, um, assuming you have a um, pretty decent um, rack. Like we have this up top overland one here. So what I want to do now is show you what this looks like on the front and then also show you what it looks like if you mount two of them on top of your truck. This is what it looks like with one box on top of your truck. And this is what it looks like when you mount two cases on the top. So that is the two cases. There is enough space on this rack anyways to mount uh, traction boards right in between them. Thanks for watching. If you like off-roading, four-wheeling, uh, any type of adventure, hit that subscribe button. Do us a favor and welcome to the Adventure Squad team.